So hi guys, I just wanted to jump on and talk to you a little bit about your life path, your blueprint, because to so many of you, it is a complete mystery. And of course it was a mystery to me too, until I began speaking with I am. And actually to Phil, it has been a complete mystery his whole life, right? Even though I started talking to I am um, nine years ago now, Phil still hasn't been. He gets a lot of downloads that he expresses with writing. Um, so I know he's communicating with I am. And he knows on some level that he is that way, but he's not communicating verbally with I am. So I'm always saying, well, what would you what would you do if there was only one thing you could do, right, for the rest of your life? What would you want to do? And I'm saying, you know, ask yourself that and, and wait for the answer, you know. And w waiting means, you know, just know it's going to come eventually. Know it's going to come in the next few weeks. Um, so not like waiting in that moment necessarily. But anyway, he thought of a great way to look at it the other day. And he actually got his answer. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So maybe if you're not being able to, to get that answer, maybe this will help you. So first of all, I will tell you, Phil is super multi-passionate, right? He loves um, art. He loves writing. He loves um, comedy. And he's so good at all these things. So how does he know which one to do, right? So the question he asked himself was, when I'm 100 years old and, you know, I'm at the end of my life, what gift would I have wanted to leave in the world? And he said, well, well, comedy, you know, it's, it's great, but that's, that's not, doesn't feel like it's really the gift I want to leave to the world. And the same thing with art that, you know, it makes him happy to do it. And uh, he wishes he was better at it, but it's not the gift he wants to give to the world. But when he thinks about the books he's writing, um, he gets really, really excited. And he thinks, well, that of course, that's the gift I want to give to the world. Um, so that actually just switching it, instead of looking at it from where you are right now in your life, where do you want to go? Look at it from at the end of your life. The things that you are interested in, which one is the gift you would like to leave to the world? So I thought that was such a cool way to look at it. And I hope this was helpful for you guys.